Please go look at it. Okay. Right across from like, the, uh, right where the ocean is. On, okay. on I guess Ocean Boulevard, okay. right? Correct? All right. Yes. Where the piers start, where that big sign where, is. Like, yeah, well, where PCH and Ocean merge. Yeah. Peace. You got to go up the incline. You, there's the a ocean. The, the little split. Yeah. And where you can go to the pier, you can go up to Ocean into Santa Monica. Perfect. Okay. All right. Uh, t- up there, they have a uh, like Jesus's like stories of the Bible, and it's enclosed like in chicken wire and like uh, little roofs, and it's mannequins from J.C. Penney and Sears with like fake beards, and like each school has like you know. Then an angel came to Mary in the night, and there's like a woman mannequin dressed up like Mary laying in like a cot. Oh my god! And there's like a little angel hanging with like you know with wires. It's and every guy with a beard looks like Will Farrell and he's about to come to life like it's a sketch. <laughs> like, hey, uh, how'd all these mules get in here? You never saw that? No. You're a West Side guy. I know, but I I usually I you'll become of obs- you'll I become really obsessed do. with it. I will. It's I think. Fa- it sounds amazing. And there's kid mannequins and they look super fucking angry at all t- like then Jesus as a child was a carpenter. It's like a kid mannequin <laughs> mannequin making like a pissed off face. And you're like, he ain't happy about it. He I'm pretty sure he was like, Can we get right to the water, walking on water? <laughs> so that was our first date. She took me to na- the nativity scenes in and it's in sequence. Uh, and that was our first date. She goes, you got to see this. Like, it was too bizarre for words. Like, that's the date. Right. No booze, no nothing. What do you call it, honey? We're all, where you took me on our first Hello. date. The, the different nativity scenes and stuff on Ocean Boulevard. But what would you, but what would you call that series of? It's the story of, it, it's just a story of – okay. It's the story of Christmas in mannequin form and they're all in like different chicken coops and all the men look like Will Farrell with beards. And if you visit Santa Monica during Christmas time, you have to see this. It's amazing. And it's a nice tour stop because you know it's where Jay Moore and Nikki Cox went on their That's first date. That's really oh, so solidified the their love. We go to that. We go to Swingers. For some reason uh, – Swingers, the coffee shop. Yeah, so the people in Idaho are listening to this are like right. sickos. For some reason – like this – you knew me right when the battleship started to turn around. Yeah. For some reason, I'm hitting on the waitress with her at the table. Like in my mind, I guess like the show where like how cool, like like whatever I am, like whatever. I got it. It's ridiculous. Yeah. And in, it, you're grossed out in hindsight. We par- – she was staying at her parents' house. We park up the street from her parents' house and we make out. And then I made a commitment. I'm not going to try to have sex with this girl at all because she's so much fun. I don't want to ruin it by, you know, taking, you know, my crank out and going, hey, what are we going to do about this? And have her going, oh my God, I thought we were just friends eating. You were hitting on the waitress. So I do nothing. So she says, okay, I'm going to go in. I say, okay, goodbye. She takes my hand and puts it in her mouth and sticks it down her throat. Takes it out of her mouth, Holy says mackerel. goodbye, goes home, and unbeknownst to me, her mom says, "How did it go?" And she says, "Not too good. He didn't even try to fuck me." Oh. <laughs> I was single for the first time in my life. Mike said that like he sat on a pin. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Not a big gag reflex. We were talking about how stupid hot chicks are and how like they never put out and this and they're just – I said the – what did I say? The worst thing in the world. There's nothing more disgusting on earth than a hot chick. Right. They're and I, fucking, I, I came to defense of hot chicks everywhere by saying not all because there are some who are hot chicks who also happen to have substance. It's a small percentage. Yeah, one. And then I use yeah. you as an example. Oh, you're very dear, but I, I don't call them that. Either. But I mean – No, you do. I'm not going to – you oh. don't – don't get sidetracked saying bad things about yourself. Come towards the mic because people get I nuts. I see myself in that light, although it's nice of you to say that. But more importantly, hot chicks in general are hot from the word go yeah. and have been told, you're beautiful, you're beautiful. And so the first you know, half of my life I was told, you're really interesting. You're really clever. You're different. Yeah, you were and told all the time. I was told I was a kid actor. I was told all the time you were, that I was flat out ugly. So I was forced to, you know, be like every other human being in the world and learn to, oh, read and you know, develop manners and th- things of that nature. And so I, then when pe- people s- suddenly said that I was aesthetically pleasing, then it was this bizarre thing. And I, I, I still don't It's weird because she's on TV at 15 years old dressed in the Tiffany Malloy outfit and unhappily ever after. And guys are like, 
in all respect, punching their clowns across the country every yeah. time that show comes on. And Me she too. goes, and I go, that's nice. Thank you. I've never been so long. And I always tell her, like, you're so beautiful. And she goes, well, I'm glad you think so. I know I'm interesting looking. And I'm like, no, you don't understand. But lately, I've been on YouTube looking at, like, her, like, uh, Lego minis commercials when she was, like, 11. And she's, like, this stunningly beautiful child. Right. And I'm but like, you're in a business that just, like, likes they, to. They want, they want, you know, blonde. They want bowl ones. haircuts. They, they would literally say to me, you know, are you, are, are you, where are you from? Are you, what part of Europe are you from? You know, people, what are you? And then they would go to my agent and say, she, she did a, a really good job and give her the, the part, but she's, and they would flat out say, she's just ugly. I mean, and so that gets. That's brutal. You hear it enough times. And my parents never said it to me. They always told me I was beautiful in every way so but you hear enough adults that are you know hiring you flat out say to a child you're ugly <laughs> and then you know you believe it yeah well, she's got a salient point and i'll tell you something the reason i started working out is when i auditioned for law and order los angeles yeah they called my and i killed that audition by the way skeet ulrich got the part and he was great on it that show was great how the fuck do you cancel law and order whatever and uh they go uh, they called my agent steve small at paradigm I'm available for work if you want to get, you know, follow up that Burt Wonderstone yeah. movie with another comedy that'd be tight. And they go, honestly, Steve, if we knew he was that big, we never wouldn't have had him come in. And I was like, what? And I wasn't like a big fat blob of no. shit. I was just like a guy. I was up to 212 though. We know but, that. But in like the standards are so different for Hollywood, I guess. You know, when you came into the house. Because you're not by any means over, even overweight, let alone that big. You. When you, I've been working on it. When you're husky, when you, you. Ca- I wear Look at you. husky jeans. <laughs> when you came into the house, I was like Brett Favre. Greek. Yogurt. They got more space where you need it in the thigh in the seat. You know, uh, Brian Etheridge is a crotch? is a very good. <laughs> Obviously, if you've seen his uh, Crocs wearing penis pictures, he doesn't need extra space in the crotch. Brian Keith Etheridge is a very good uh, comedy writer, uh-huh. and he like that commercial came on once on Gary Unmarried, like in some green room, and he goes. Man, what the fuck? I go, what? He goes, he's completely leaving that guy out to dry on that cross pass. And then I'm like, what? And if you watch that Lee Jeans commercial with Brett Favre, the guy's going over the middle and Brett leads him way too far. (laughs) Like in real life, the guy would have been decapitated. That's the take that they decided to go with. Yeah, the guy's like way out over the middle. like, And he had to jump and outstretch. And it like bothered Brian Etheridge. He's like, look at him. He's going to kill the guy. I'm like, well, I'm pretty sure it's a controlled environment. He didn't really do it. But I want to go back to what you're saying about – showbiz and what it's like to kill on stage and what's weird and the crippling depression that you feel afterwards yeah and we have this discussion all the time nick will always say like i'm the only comic she's ever known that doesn't have like a hole and like when i get off stage i just feel like i guess how someone feels like when they're done with work right i, I never i'm never no, babe, you're, generally if a show goes well which for you is quite often it, you're like a guy that just got off a roller coaster. You're oh high, yeah, you're, you're, you're hyper. I'm fired you're, up. you're happy. I'm the you're, you're, yeah. But when I'm on stage, because Mike said when you're killing, like it's the most ridiculous, sublime feeling in the world. Sometimes, but usually, and I say this a lot to like other people that ask me that. I go, when you're driving your car, do you do you go nuts when it doesn't have a flat tire? Like that's how I feel on stage. Like that's exactly how it's right. supposed to go. And it's only till. Some guy starts going, tell the Farley story, where you feel that, what, 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 and you're like, uh-oh, <laughs> what the right. let me get out and patch this up real quick. And in that case, I put on some fucking 20, some dove, riding on doves. They're, they're 24s, to be, to be honest. You're saying my act rolls <laughs> on 24s? Your act, your act is, your act is the custom 30s at the auto show. Damn, that, son. That no one, like, like exhibit, nice. exhibit, and Kanye gather around it, and they're like, I gotta get that on my car. And, and they, they're like, and they're oh, like it's, 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 right, it's right next to the original Bonnie and Clyde car. <laughs> Is that at the auto show? <laughs> Is the original Bonnie and Clyde car at the I, auto show? I don't think it's at the auto oh. show, but I do believe. I think Mike's going. I think that it was at the Peterson ghetto. Auto Museum at one point. I want to. I want to get rich enough that I can actually, like, I want to be the, the, I want to be Beck, but like for men. Like where where cholos like <laughs> like you want to be you want to be a nod in Scientology right because Beck what do you mean because Beck, Beck is this little kind of totally. kind of uh, femish white guy but like he's so dope in the cholo community like he walks in MacArthur Park and people are like hey what's up Beck damn dog you're Beck dog I want to be like the the clearly whitewash like not tough uh, uh, guy who gets to the point where I can be universally respected by cholos like 
So they're like, that, no, that's my that's my boy dog. I like saw him at the Dodger Snoop, game. Like pool. how Snoop walked Snoop. around with like 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 sausage curl hair and like rollers and little lady braids, and Perfect everyone example. just said, "Nice, you look." Snoop, good, Snoop leaves his beautiful immaculate home in Chino Hills, surrounded by nothing Chino but Hills. white. That he fuck. Oh no, I'm thinking of Ice Cube. Ice Cube went to Taft High. He lives in the fucking valley. Right. Yeah. He, so he, straight out these of guys, Woodland Hills. These guys. Yeah. Leave, Snoop is a perfect Crazy example. It's hard. Leaves Shay. his, leaves his AK, beautiful home in like the ultimate suburbs of Chino Hills, and it takes his Snoop Deville to the Laker game, and people are like, <laughs> Snoop, Snoop, what's up? And he and he said, like, I want to leave. I want to be that guy who like leaves his nice uh, suburbanite house. Goes to the Dodger game and guys with shaved heads and and Lennox tattooed on their temple, well, and they're like, "Oh, dog, what's Lennox? up, Mike? What's up, Mike? How you doing, dog? What's, what's up, Lennox?" Boy? I just said like Jesse gangsters with a tattooed on their neck. Oh, Lennox. I used to oh, know a guy. like his name is Lennox. I, no, no, no. I think it's a gang or at least like a, like a like a hood. Like Harbor like Heights, Mexican find out mafia. Before you do it. A guy I used to <laughs> a guy I used to <laughs> buy a lots. Very good point. Well, no, a guy I used to buy lots of crack from who definitely murdered people. Had Lennox tattooed yeah, on his neck, so I drew reference pick, from that. Pick something else, like get Winnie the Pooh or something completely random. Winnie the, but Winnie the Pooh with a tear in his eye. I used to know dog. Winnie hey, the Pooh with hey, a tear drop. Yeah, a guy, tear drop. I used to know a guy who had SGV dog tattooed on his forehead. That was clean, dog. What's that mean? San Gabriel Valley. He was. He's like, Whoa. I'm the I'm the dopest guy in the San Gabriel Valley. I have SGV on my head. He had six two six on his neck and SGV, on, and we were like, oh, you, you you know, you probably you probably own that. I, I wouldn't really want to test that. You're probably kind of the only guy in the San Gabriel Valley with a forehead tattoo. No. Oh, no. no. Go down to El, uh, El Monte, San Gabriel. I haven't, I haven't that's, spent a lot of time in that's, I like El Monte beans, region. green beans. You, that's Del Monte. That's oh, Del yeah. Monte. Yeah. Let me ask you they this. They also make yes. those fruit cocktails with that one weird cherry. <laughs> did, the cho- <laughs> did the Cholo with SGV. Ta- I wish he fucked up and got sisters with voices. <laughs> S S double double double. You. I do believe. Hold on, time out. Yes. How about I'm so fucking dumb I couldn't get the initials out quick enough for the joke, so I had to say sisters with voices. (laughs) I couldn't say S W. What is it? S W V. The song was S W V. Well, I don't know. But so here's the here's my question. Was their big hit right? Here's my question. You knocked me right off of my feet. Can't explain why your love it makes me weak. Don't sell yourself short, Mike. You can get into that music career in two seconds. I guess so. I believe. um, To get the sisters with voices. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna. But no, I'm gonna get portraits of the whole band. I believe that. Done already. The it the early '90s was the peak of like that type of pop soul. Yeah, garbage. Like, but like good and Vogue. Like, if you listen Salt to if pepper. you listen to Jodeci Ugh. and compare it and, and, co- and compare it to like what she knows, this the, is her shit. lately <laughs> Tony Tony. Who do you like better, Tony Tony or Tony? Uh, Be honest. Well, I'm a big Tony fan. Yeah. If I really, yeah. Tony's <laughs> out of all three, that's the one. Didn't they have Tony? different spelling? Wasn't yeah, it Tony with like an umlaut? Tony with like a Y. Let's go back. It was E Y and yeah. You really, out of all those three, you're going with Tony? Yeah, I'm a big Tony. Why? Well, Tony, uh, you know, he was there from the don't, beginning. Don't I feel like don't I question. feel like he stayed too, true to his Tony roots. I gotta go, Tony. <laughs> really? Fuck hey, yeah, I'm bro. Side with Mike on Tony. You and Mike like Nick Tony. and I gotta <laughs> gotta agree to <laughs> disagree, Tony, Jay. Tony, Tony, Tony. Which one do you like the most? <laughs> no, that guy's dope because he's like <laughs> Motorhead <laughs> Tony over with here. the umlaut. He's like Motley Crue Motorhead <laughs> Tony. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's a badass Tony. But the, the guy with S, I like the Randys. G V, yeah, on his forehead. Did he ever like he he can grow bangs if he gets tired of it? Because I just realized, yeah, but men, it's, men it, don't. Look, he was, generally men don't look very well with bangs. <laughs> well, they look, they, this guy, look no, right. they, they, this they guy, appear, they appear to have Down syndrome. By the way, what I'm saying is he Michelle, could cover it if he wanted. If he grew, that's what I'm saying. If he grew Russell Brand hair, like a but black man. Could Jay, not this cover guy that. was an El Monte gangster and was going to die. He was born a gangster and was going to die a gangster. He was never not going to have a shaved head. We were watching something with the Crips and the Bloods, and I, I don't know if this is a plot. We were just hanging out with them watching. <laughs> yeah, we were down. We, we, we were, I think we were, we, we were watching Grey's Anatomy with them. Yeah, we were at a tray, and some Playboys rolled through, and some shit started. And I said to my – she's like, let's get out of here. I go, no, let's see how this plays out. So, But apparently if you're a Blood and if you go to jail and they say like, are you in a gang, you have to tell the cop and the intake people that you're a Blood or they stab the – Fucking shit out of you the moment you get inside the jail. The 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 other blood. The other not, bloods not, in not the jail. The they people. know that you said like, no nah, man, I like I think all other gangs like you you tell the intake people you're not in a gang so that way when you're in 
you can assimilate and join GP and be right. in your gang. I wonder Infiltrate. if I wonder if that's because the Bloods have always been traditionally so outnumbered. Like the yeah. Bloods, that is why. I Like believe. they were, they, they're Maybe really. That's why they're outnumbered. Uh, well, it's also a sign of. Ob- I mean, obviously, I don't have to explain it. A sign of honor. I'm. I, you're not going to be a chicken shit. You're going to walk right up and say, "Yes, sir, I am a Blood." Jay, will back you up on that. He's from the Yakuza many years back. Yeah, I was a crazy idiot. Yeah, I remember. But do you think I remember you, S- told, you told me that at Swingers? I the told restaurant. You, in Japanese, to the black waitress. That's right. Do you think SGV got 